You're watching EVH and Gear TV, brought to you by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. An official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. And now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, happy Thursday evening to you all. Good evening, I hope everyone is well. Welcome to EVH and Gear TV. We are live for an unscheduled broadcast, kind of unscheduled, scheduled, however you want to look at it, but not a regular evening, but certainly we are here and I hope you're doing very well. Going to do a couple live unboxings tonight, while one is going to be a, uh, an unboxing and a bunch of other things have already been unboxed because it really wasn't a box per se. Uh, that they came in a bunch of series of bags so so those of you that are friends of mine on Facebook uh, saw that I shared some products earlier today uh, some pictures and stuff like that so we're going to get to that in a moment and then we're going to physically unbox where is it it's over there it's I can't do the mirror thing properly I need a mirror in front of me or behind me so I can know which is left and right and <laughs> forward and backward can I unbox something very very cool guitar case wise related so here's what we're going to do when I do these unboxings, I like to try to do the unboxings first, and I see a bunch of people jumping over in the chat, and I'm really, really happy to see you. Uh, but for the sake of replay value, instead of uh, you know people coming and checking out the thing, they probably want to check out the unboxing and then just bail and go watch something else on YouTube. So I'm going to make it easier for them to check out the unboxings and the reviews and that kind of stuff. And then we're going to spend the remainder of the video saying hi to everybody and hanging out with friends. How would that be? And tell you what's coming up on the show because there's lots to uh, to get down to. So if that's cool with you, we're going to start that. So don't go away, all my friends over in the chat. I will be over there to see you very soon. And I'm busting to say hi to you as it is. But like I say, we'll save that to the very end. So working with a company right now called Ace Products. And Ace Products is a distributor, uh, kind of uh, they, uh, they distribute several really big products, which are really, really cool. Some of them, uh, you know, you probably household names that you know, like Coffin Case, Coffin Case guitar cases, uh, things like that as well, too. Uh, Pig Hog cables and all their accessories. They have a fine line of accessories. So that's what we're going to start with first. Um, I wanted to redesign the studio here somewhat. Like I've got a bunch of those guitar boat stands, which are very, very cool. And in the grand scheme of things, guitar boat stands, you know, five stand, seven stand, three stand, whatever, they can kind of maybe take up a little bit less space than a whole bunch of guitar stands. But the look I was going for in the studio here, I wanted to change that around. I had several of those boat stands and I just wanted to go with guitar stands, traditional guitar stands again. And I've had a few, um, obviously we always have guitar stands on hand sometimes, you know, kicking around in the corners and things like that. So I'm going to show you a comparison to a product I was using, and I put some tape over the logo just because I'm, I'm, I'm not dissing the product whatsoever. I just don't want to say the, the product's name that I'm no longer using per se. I mean, I'll, I'll kick them around in the studio here. The, it's a guitar stand as a guitar stand, but there's some things that make stands better than others. So let's jump over to the guitar stand um, review slash you know, it's not an unboxing now because they're all out, but I had to assemble them all. It took quite a while because there's two dozen guitar stands that came in. But I'm going to grab the competitor's product and I'll show you what's cool about it and what I don't think is necessarily as cool about it. I mean, it's really hard to pick a, pick the flaws. It's just when you see this other one, it's so much better. All right. So let's do that first. So here's a competitor's product. We've got this typical, typical guitar stand. You know, you just you turn you turn in the base of it you, and it's got the little notch on the bottom. So the... The bottom lug doesn't fall out. Your typical, you know, horseshoe U thing, whatever the top. And this one, in this particular case, has a rubber, um, you know, snap on, right? It holds the guitar in place. It does its job. Adjustable on the back. Nothing wrong with the guitar stand. I mean, it's a guitar stand. It holds, it'll hold a bass. It'll hold acoustic guitar. It'll hold electric. It'll hold just about anything. Nothing wrong with it. However, now with the pig hog stands, I'm going to show you one of those and we're going to jump over and have a look at their website in a second as well too. So, and actually let me try Can you see the rubber on this thing? Okay. It's got, I probably have some dust and some cobwebs. <laughs> it gets dusty in here. Um, but it's very thin, right? You're looking at probably about the size of a good marker, um, a good marker or Sharpie type thickness of the rubber. That's about how thick it is, right? So uh, Pig Hog sent me a bunch of different colors and um, I wanted mostly black and I'm using black in a lot of cases but for some of my guitars like the EVH stripes, uh, the black and white stripe series guitar and Junior's uh, Eastwood Airline back there you can see where I'm pointing. It's being ni nice to have a white stand. So I've got some whites, I've got some seafoam greens, I've got red, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. So let's look at the white one just to show you the quality of the metal itself and then the important factor is the rubber. Let's have a look at that. 
So this is the only one I have available right now that doesn't have a guitar on it. I, I like this a lot. Look at the rubber right away. Okay, the comparison. Let me see if I can try to show you both. Got to watch it, Kayla. I'm going to put on a, micro, or a video camera. Can you see the difference? There's, there's no comparison in the size of the rubber. All that means is a nice, safer fit and a, and a, a, a flush, safe, soft mount for your guitar. So that right off the get-go is great. Same thing again up at the top. You know, four times bigger uh, in circumference of the, the foam. And I really like this clip. Clips on like that. Just like that. Very, very cool. It's secure. The rubber thing was cool. It works. Does it does the job. I just like this. That's a more secure fit. It's easy. Adjustable on the back as well, too. So I mean the the nature of the guitar stand has not really changed too much. I know there's other brands out there too that have like the the weight suspended hooks. I've got some of those on the wall and all, all those kind of cool things. So the but the average guitar stand hasn't changed much. It's just nice to see that people are going the extra mile uh, to protect the guitar. And I really like the thickness of this. That's almost like bicycle handlebars. Uh, you know, those foam things you get for your uh, racing bikes and stuff like that. So there we go. It's nice embroidered or not and like a logo stickered logo on there as well, too. It's hard to see that. But they're fantastic. And I didn't realize how far that these guys went with their accessories. So I want to pull up the website for a second. That's the stands. And they sent me enough to cover pretty much every guitar in the, in the studio here. And there's still some guitars to go on. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Before we go to the website, let's do this. Let's go to a second camera. All right. So there you go. You can see some of the guitars back there as well, too. I've, you know, from left to right, I've got, there's probably about eight guitars that are out of frame that you can't see. You've got the Kramer uh, Vintage Pacer there. You've got uh, Junior's Wolfgang, Junior's uh, Eastwood uh, Eastwood Airline, uh, my PVUSA Wolfgang, second PVUSA Wolfgang, my EVH uh, Standard, the 5150 off to the right. Uh, that's a Japanese special. And then, of course, um, uh, the uh, Stewart Travel Guitar, the Stowaway, which is a fantastic guitar, dead center. And then, there's, like I said, there's more that you can't see off the screen. Let's turn that camera off for a second. Okay, so we're back there. So fantastic stance. I love these things. They're they're fairly lightweight. I'd say the weight compared to the the um, competitor's product that I was just showing you a moment ago, probably about the same. So they're very lightweight but robust, and they'll they'll take a lot of weight as well too. So I'll put that down out of camera. And let's have a look at their website. I want to go to the website and show you some of the cool things that they have. Okay. So here we are. It's uh, pighogcables.com and Nocturnal Butterfly. My better half will post that link in the chat here momentarily. It is also in the description down below as well, too. But they have just about everything. So they have instrument cables, microphone cables, uh, speaker cables, lighting cables, which I didn't know about, uh, patch cables, and the fat foam guitar stands. And that's what that's particularly called is the fat foam guitar stand. So let's go have a look at that. And you can see the colors. There's the white one that I just showed you. Uh, standard. So yeah, see, it's kind of showing standard wimpy guitar stand and a pig hog guitar stand with extra big fat padding. I like that a lot. I really, really do. I think it makes a big difference. Uh, so then there's the different colors. There's the blue, um, red, obviously. And I love the red a lot. It's really cool. And then there's a different blue here. So white, black, red, and blue. Now there's more colors that they sent me as well too. I'm not sure why they don't show them on the website. But I have like a seafoam green, and uh, I guess that's probably the only only other one that's out of the norm of the colors here. So that maybe that's one they haven't put on the website yet. But absolutely phenomenal, and I think it's a worth a worth look at the instrument cables and things they offer as well too. Guitar cables, um, they see nice uh, seafoam green. I'm really digging that for some reason. I like seafoam green, uh, pedal cables, pedal patch cables, all that kind of stuff. Uh, very, very nice stuff. I haven't tried their instrument cables yet, but I am going to try them. I think they're, uh, they've really onto something here. And then of course, all the various different accessory cables as well too. So let's come back full screen here. So that's really, really cool. And as you can see, I'm kind of crowding myself a little bit. I'm not sure if it was a uh, blessing or, <laughs> or a curse because I wanted to get rid of the, the boat stands and now I'm surrounded by these guitars, but it really feels like a guitar haven heaven and here you come in here now and uh you just you're surrounded by guitars and almost a, almost a full 360 of guitars and if you're not inspired when you when i get to sit in here nothing's going to do it for me so i really got to thank uh uh pig hog for for sending me these stands love them to death and i think i might just for some fun because i've got two or three maybe four red ones you might see some white and black stripes on a couple of those. We'll see how that goes. Get some pinstriping at the hardware store, and uh, I, I won't go. I won't paint them. I'll just stripe them with some pinstripe. It'd be a lot easier. 
Uh, so the cool thing now we're going to jump over to uh, from the same company through Ace Products now with coffin cases. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of coffin cases. Very cool, you know, uh, conversation piece when it comes to guitar cases. I actually forget which model they sent me, uh, but they sent it to me for review. And uh, I, it's, I know it's a square one, obviously, by the, the uh, rectangular, by the shape of the case that you can see behind me. It's not like their traditional, you know, coffin shape, right? I, like a real coffin. Um, but let's jump over and get into that, open that one up as carefully as I can without knocking things down. And then we'll jump back over and say hi to all you guys and girls over in the chat. So how would that be? Let's grab this and I'm going to see if I can do this carefully here. I'm going to probably do a little unorthodox. I'm going to open up this side of the camera and I'll try to make sure I'm making eye contact with you. All right. So we got the knife. This is pretty cool. I've never opened up a box on this side of the camera before, so making things a little different. All right, so I think we can probably safely put the knife away before I hurt myself. Whoops, I'm going to pull that camera down. I know it. All right, so we've got... Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. We might have something different than I thought. Okay. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to tip it upside down. And I'm going to lift it off. There we go. Okay, this is quite cool. This is, yep, okay, so now we're talking. We gotta put this down careful. All right, we're okay. All right, so we've got a little bit of a uh, black felt type of a bag, which is kind of neat and kind of goes with the overall theme and kind of neatness of this product conversation oh this is cool this is very cool i wasn't sure if it was going to because they make uh, several styles i wasn't sure if there was going to be the regular rectangular one or the traditional coffin style and this is this so this is very cool let's get this baby out of here i like the bag it comes in too all right so obviously i'm a little short-handed here but we'll get through it oh man this is this is really awesome can you see that that is very cool. Okay, you've got, you've got the coffin hang tag on here. Nice logo. Okay, the code and then a, a logo as well on here too. You can see that. Try to show you that if I can. Get it up there. Awesome. Let's have a look inside. A nice kind of black nickel, black chrome. Uh, not really a chrome, but like a black. Kind of like you'd see on the EVH Wolfgang guitars, the specials. You know how they have that smoked chrome look, I think they call it, or... or uh, Smoked nickel. I forget. I actually forget the term, but that's kind of the impression I'm trying to give you. So not really chrome, not really black. Kind of a smoked chrome. And there must be. A, oh yeah, there's another one back here. And I don't know if there's one at the back. No, nope, I think that's it. There must be one at the back. Here it is. I found it. I just saw a sneak peek of this. You guys are in for a treat. Oh, check it out. Red crushed velvet. Can you see that? Look at this. The pillow, the whole works. Oh my goodness. Silica gel that we never use, obviously. We put that aside. Let's have a look. Wow. Holy Hannah. Would you look at this thing? It smells nice. Can you can you guys see that? Look, doesn't that look like this absolutely to die for? No pun intended. That is absolutely amazing. So we have to determine what guitar is going to go in here. I'm thinking we're going to put uh, Junior's SG in here. This would be a great case if it'll fit. I think it will because it's kind of a universal fit. Um, Oh, absolutely beautiful case a beautiful case and i love that new case smell but it is padded i know this video here is not doing it justice as far as what you can see but the texture it's foam 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 the top is all three-dimensional foam uh more foam than i've ever seen in a guitar case i mean it does look like a coffin what do you think of that <laughs> i've seen some good comments which i'm going to jump to in just a second Great comments. This is one of the coolest guitar cases I've ever seen. I'd like to see what a Wolfgang looks like in here. I'd, um, I, th I honestly think Junior's Airline would look really nice in here as well, too. He does have a nice case for that guitar, but I'm thinking this one, you you guys and girls, comment in the chat. You know what guitars we have here. You're seeing a few of them. You can't see Junior's SG. It's off with the camera as well with a bunch of other guitars, but what? Uh, just, just for fun, comment in the chat and tell me which uh, guitar you think would look really cool that we own here. Uh, would be good for this case, and and who knows, maybe your your vote will <laughs> will win. But this is awesome, so I I I am sold. 
you know, there's lots of room on here to put a cool sticker on here, your band's name or whatever you want, or EVH and Gear TV and uh, Kramer Corner and a Helix Hour sticker would be really nice on here as well, too. This is awesome. It's great. Look at that. I've got some sweat on it. I'm sweating in here like crazy. Well built. Very well built. I, I mean, everything. There's hang tags. I mean, they don't have to do this kind of stuff. It's it's great. A lot of times, you know, people just throw on a little sticker and call it a day. They've gone the extra mile with this case. So let's put this down carefully, and let's go back and let's have a look at what, what else they offer on the website. This is beautiful, and I love it to death. No pun intended. Got to carefully put this down. We're running out of space. I seriously need to bust out the wall here, but I can't afford to do that because on the other side is a studio that I still need. I'd really like to open up the studio, but beside me off to that way is where we shoot a lot of our other product videos and everything is set up there with the lighting and everything like that. So I just can't afford to knock out those walls and then lose that studio. Maybe we could put a half curtain or something. So let's jump back to the website again. I'm going to load up coffin cases here and let's go over and have a quick look at them. All right, so here we are. That's coffingear.com, and Nocturnal Butterfly will probably post that link as well, too. Also, once again, is in the description. So they have all kinds of cool stuff. They have, um, well, let's go down. They got straps, which is like the padded velvet or crushed velvet, whatever, um, to match the interior motif of the case. So that looks like, I guess this is the one that they sent us right here. The Extreme Coffin Case uh, black, vel black Velvet. Okay, no. So the black velvet, and then there's one with the red velvet. So you can get them with black as well, too. Can we see the inside of that one? There you go. There's a the black one. So that's not the one they sent me. Um, so what else do they have? So let's go into, let me see, shop, coffin cases. Let's go there. All right. So there we go. That looks like it right there. Um, so it looks like about 189 retail US dollars. Uh, let's have a look. See if we can see. There we go. So there's a better picture of it as well, too. And I'm getting messages that there's some questions in the chat. So I'm going to jump over to that in a second, very briefly here. But they have all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go back to uh, cables. They offer their own cables as well, too, in the blood splatter motif. I think that's very, very cool. Kind of goes with that whole kind of, you know, creepy theme. I like that. Um, guitar straps, we saw some of those. Oh, nice with the skull embroidered uh, things on there as well, too. The black crushed. And then this one here, like in the uh, uh, the mortician, I love that. Almost like you'd see in suspenders, right? In the funeral funeral home, love that. And then of course they've got a full line of merchandise as well too. Uh, really, really love this. I know we've got some merchandise coming from them as well too. Some hoodies and some hats. Uh, and there's there's the actual pillow. I believe that was inside the case as well too. The coffin shock pillow, uh, replacement keys, even co coffin coffee. That'd be kind of neat to check out. And then some stickers and things like that as well too. So let's jump back over to the full screen. I really like that. I mean, it's hard to get excited about a guitar case, but in this case, that's the case. I said case, case. It's like Austin Powers, allow myself to introduce myself. I love the case. I love it. It's. It, I mean, how often can you open a guitar case? You know, you know, you get the old vintage Fender tweeds and things like that. That's cool, that kind of stuff. But this is a real experience when you open the case. I love it. Let's jump over to the chat and finally say hi to everybody. So that will pretty much conclude the unboxing slash uh, look at that, but we'll certainly talk about it over in the chat. And uh, really excited to have you all here on a Thursday evening. So we've got a good friend Quentin James is here. FNAF Gamers is here. Darren Moore, Rock and Roll. Got to hang out with him in Sarnia, Ontario today. It was great. Junior and I met up with him, had some lunch. And uh, good to see you, buddy. And next time it's going to be jamming. So we're going to get him over here and do some jamming. And uh, it was great to see him. As always, uh, my beautiful nocturnal butterfly is here running the chat efficiently like a well-oiled race car. Um, and she's pretty smoking hot too. Uh, James St. Mars is here saying, hey, hey. Uh, Brad is here. Brad, congratulations on your arrival of your new 5150 chorus pedal from MXR today in the Van Halen store. I, I hope you've been uh, playing that and enjoying it. And uh, that, that's awesome. He showed me, uh, he tagged me in a post on Instagram. FNA Gamers is here saying, that's cool. Mississippi Treasure Hunter is here saying, hey, Eric. Bobby Clippers here. Hey, Eric and uh, Nocturnal Butterfly. All the nice collection going on, Eric. Thank you. Um, and FNAF Gamer says, need one of those in my life. Cool Colors from Mississippi says, uh, normally black is all I see. Yeah, I know. The red is just is awesome. I love that. I don't think I would go with any other color. I think the red is, uh, the crushed is nice inside. Sean Close is here saying, hello, Eric and everyone here. Uh, let me see here. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Sean Close says, it's like Christmas. Hurry up already. It's always fun doing these unboxings. It's like, I love it on Christmas Day and seeing what other people got. Show me the pictures, what you got. And it's like, you know, you're, you're trading, you know, you know, pictures and videos. I, that's what I think these unboxings are like. It's fun. And I uh, get to share the excitement. Um, <laughs> Fraser Kelly says, send me one, but not a coffin. Uh, Sean Close, whoa, sweet. 
Uh, so we have the link from Nocturnal Butterfly for Coffin Gear. Um, and Mel O'Brien says, where, where am I? Did the phone just ring? It may have. Could have been a notification. Uh, Mississippi Treasure Hunter says, uh, yeah, I looked at them before. Cool cases. Gunmetal. Yeah, there you go. Sean Close says gunmetal. I guess that would probably be right, eh? That's that's a good description of that color. Um, <laughs> Mel O'Brien has been coughing all day. Gorgeous from Nocturnal Butterfly. Um, yeah, okay. So here comes the comments about the guitars. Uh, Darren Moore, Rock and Roll says that red pacer would look sweet. Um, it would. It would. I, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to be the good dad, and I'm going to... I love that idea, though, and I'm going to at least get a picture of the Kramer Pacer in there. It would look stellar, but I'm going to be the good dad and pass this one on to Junior. Junior is like my my rock when it comes to musical inspiration here, and we love working together. Um, I think I'm going to be the good dad and pass on this case to him, um, but it's not going to be an easy one to let go. So I think we might have a photo shoot. You know, when you go, you go to a famous landmark and you got to take a photo shoot in front of all those things, I'm probably going to put every guitar I have inside that coffin case and take a picture. At least I can experience it for one moment before I give it to the boy. But uh, he'll put it to good use. But I like that. I like that suggestion, Darren. That's awesome. Uh, let me see here. Uh, so Mel says, what, what size guitar fits it? It says it's pretty much like a universal fit. So I've got everything here from Stratocasters to Wolfgangs to SGs to unorthodox shapes like the Eastwood Airline. We've got just about everything. So um, we'll try a bunch of everything, and I'll report to you if there's anything that doesn't fit. And I have a sneeze on deck. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. There we go. Coffin. I've been coughing all day. Uh, so we'll find out on that. I believe it's a pretty much a universal fi- uh, universal fit. Uh, and how much do they have, uh, do, how much and do they have different sizes? So we addressed that. I think that when we showed a minute ago, it was like 189, 199 US dollars and they will vary from there. But again, hit the link in the description down below and the ones in the chat that Nocturnal has shared and, uh, you guys can experiment, uh, to your liking on the website. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Mississippi. Okay. So that's his question. Uh, FNF Gamer said, I put my red signature. If I had one, just got an official EVHD tuna. Congratulations. Uh, speaking of which, I just shared a really cool photo on Instagram tonight um, from Adam Reaver from Futon and D-Tuna. He was shipping a whole bunch of uh, D-Tunas out, obviously to, probably to some retailers around the world. And I reposted it saying a ton of tuna. It was pretty cool. There was like boxes, which I'm assuming there's probably 12 to 24 D-Tunas in each box. And he had five, six, eight boxes. That was a really cool photo to see. I've never seen him shipping that many at one time. So that's awesome. Uh, so congrats on your D-Tuna. Uh, Mel O'Brien says, Sarnia played Sarnia a couple times. Me too. Back in the day, it was, uh, a lot, a, a lot back in the day. And I, I enjoyed playing Sarnia it's a, it's a cool town and it was cool to bring Junior back there today. It was only the second time he's been there. So that was cool. Um, yeah. Nocturnal Butterfly says he's going to love it. Sean Close says, bless you. And I got to bless you from Nocturnal Butterfly too. Thank you on the sneeze. Um, and do they have a case for bass? Well, let's go find out. That's a very good question. Let's go back for a second and let's go back to, okay. That's the merchandise section. So let's go back to, uh, guitar coffin cases. Okay. Um, so yeah, there you uh, a bass case right there. Look at that. And it's, it's not that much, 199 So the bass case, that would be really cool for Junior's flea bass he has here. So there you go. I, I like that. There you go. So it's showing basically the shapes and stuff that will fit in there. Okay, and that's showing the overall dimensions. So there's your there's your answer on that one, Mississippi. Um, Chris, that's that's awesome. So base case, coffin guitar case with red velvet, extreme coffin guitar case uh, with black velvet, coffin base case, black velvet. So yeah, there's all kinds of options. Um, what's that one there? Guitar case with red velvet, coffin guitar case, black velvet. There's your traditional, you know, like a Strat style and uh, like a rectangular one. I like that too a lot. That's a very nice case. Very, very cool. So all kinds of great stuff. Be sure, trust me, please go visit these guys' websites and just familiarize yourself with um, uh, their products. And I mean, not that I'm certainly not trying to say the holiday season is approaching. I'm trying to stay here as long as possibly in the warmer summer months, but the holiday season is on the, at least we're on the, the home stretch to the final quarter of 2018. If you're looking for, you know, gifts for the holiday seasons, either for yourself and you want the better half to buy them for you or you want to get something for someone else, these are some pretty awesome products, both with coffin and with uh, the cables as well, too. So some great ideas. Um, uh, there's one on top of the site. Nice. So there you go. Um, 
And FNF Gamer says, no matter what kind of case you buy, it's always going to be expensive. Yeah, there's there's no way around that. You know, you can buy a gig bag or you can buy one of those. those remember back in the day, maybe people still use them. I don't see too many people using them, but those soft soft shell guitar cases more mainly for acoustic guitars and things like that. I can't tell you how many guitar cases I've had like that when I was a kid where I, the, the guitar would just be absolutely destroyed from dropping. It's basically like walking around with a piece of cardboard with uh, a little string on it to uh, to carry it as a handle. They're just absolutely ridiculous. So a good case is going to cost you a few bucks. And if you've got a lot of guitars, now sure, 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks is going to add up, but you don't have to buy them all at one time. Here, Buy them here and there for your most important guitars and go down the line and, you know, TLC, man, you know, it's, it's taking care of that instrument for a long time. You've got an investment in your guitar and, you know, preserving it for a long time is something you should never uh, take lightly. So that is it for the reviews. Uh, and yeah, Bularf is here. Haven't seen you for a while. Nice to have you. Says uh, they have some great stuff. I think what we'll do here is we'll just wrap up in a moment. And I just want to tell you a few things that are coming up. This is pretty nice. We'll be wrapping up in about a 30 minute window, not taking too much of your time while you guys get ready to conclude your evening and ready for the weekend. I'm sure everyone's in weekend mode, which I am as well, too. Speaking of which, tomorrow night, got a fun show with a great guitar player, uh, regular hours for EVH and Gear TV guitarist Rob Balducci uh, joins me. We're going to talk about uh, he's got a, some cool stories about meeting the Van Halen brothers. We're going to talk about, uh, obviously, our love of Futone. Both of us endorse uh, Adam's gear. That's going to be awesome. Steve Vice speaks very, very highly of Rob. And uh, we may, as far as I know, get some performances from him as well. And then over on Sunday, um, uh, some of you may know, some of you may not know, some of you are fans of both all the shows that we do, uh, the Helix Hour returns for Season 2. And I've got a really cool a guess that you would not expect to see uh, on the show. I've got a cellist on the show, uh, Tina Guo, uh, and she's basically, it's like, okay, here's a question for you. What do you get when you mix cello, uh, extreme heavy metal, and Helix, as in the Line 6 product? What do you get when you mix that up? You get something very, very cool. Uh, Tina is a Grammy-nominated uh, composer. She's been pretty much in every movie that you've seen in the last 10 to 15 years, every single blockbuster movie. If you go on her website, which I'll give you the link later on, um, you check out her website on her about page and it shows the, the covers of all the movie posters and there's everything. I don't want to give you examples right now because I'll be, I'll be leaving out the good ones and giving you some of the ones that aren't as good. It's amazing. But she's going to be on the show and she's giving away a free Helix patch for people uh, to use. That's something that we do on our show. So even if you're not a guitar player, even if you're not a fan or don't even know anything about Helix, it's a 60-minute show. She's going to do some performances for us, which is going to be great. You definitely want to check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so you check that out. Like I say, that's uh, right in here on the same channel, but we go earlier on Sunday. That's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Pacific. And then we're back again, um, most likely on Tuesday. Just got to double check the booking. But Tuesday evening at the 9 o'clock Eastern Time, Kramer Corner. So we have Kramer Corner on Tuesdays, EVH and Gear TV on Fridays, Helix Hour on Sundays. And there's no more shows other than that unless something comes up really cool because I just can't do any more shows. Three is enough and booking guests for each one of those shows. Booking shows, guests for one show is challenging. Booking guests for three shows is crazy is insane crazy. So we're going to leave it at three shows, but it's been going really, really good. And uh, you'll see a link here in a moment and a little bit of a commercial for our merchandise. Uh, we've got merchandise for everything, for EVH and Gear TV, EV, uh, the Helix Hour, Kramer Corner, and our own brand, which you'll see in a moment, which is cool. And we'll also explain the fact that why I can no longer shave my mustache. Some of you watching the show a while back were kind of shocked when the mustache was gone for about four hours and I grew it back. Um, but now it's insured. So I have to keep the mustache because it's now a brand. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Well, not so much. Um, so anyways, let's go back to the chat. Uh, Zach Thong is here. Zach, it's always nice to see you. Thank you so much for popping in. Says, hey, Eric. Bular says, nice to be here and I'm honored to have you. I am honored to have every single one of you here whenever you can make it. I know you can't make it every time and schedules and things like that. But when you're here, I like to see, you know, it's like I see the virtual face in the chat and I smile and it's great. Love it. Um, awesome. So Nocturnal Butterfly, as she's saying, make sure you hit that bell to be notified of upcoming shows for sure. I'll, you'd be surprised. Go just tonight as a challenge, go to about five or six or you know, maybe even 10 of the people that you subscribe to go to their channel. Just look to see if you're, you're, you're not only subscribed, which you are, but make sure those notifications are on. It's happened to me. I've been, I've had notifications turned on for some of my people I love. 
And I go back and there's the notifications not turned on. I'm like, what the heck? No wonder I didn't see the things. So check my channel out for sure. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do that, please. But make sure that bell is on for all notifications because a lot of times I go live for something that's really important like a contest, which I'm going to be doing soon. And you're going to want to be given notifications to be one of the first people in that contest. And just when I have cool guests on that come up, you know, sporadically, you never know. Sometimes I have a guest that doesn't fit in the, the regular slot windows, Fridays, Tuesdays, Sundays. I might do a two, uh, Wednesday or something. So you want to be notified as best as you can. Um, uh, Mel O'Brien says it's 1.30 a.m. here in West Cork, no Swiss chalet. <laughs> All right. So we're going to wrap it up there. Do me, We're right on the 30-minute mark. This is kind of nice. Um, be sure to check out uh, the links in the description below so you can see these great products from these two manufacturers that we had a look at today and watch for the commercial on our merchandise. There's some really cool merch on our store and uh, all your support helps uh, helps the shows, helps my family, which we greatly appreciate. And, uh, you know, we're not making a killing on it, but you know, every little dollar does help get reinvested and just keeps things rolling. It keeps me doing these shows, which is uh, a, a ble- oh, something. It's a blessing to us, and it's something that we love to do as well too. YouTube is a very important thing to our family. So, uh, Terry's jumping in. He says, uh, "Yes, he just missed us." But Terry, yes, go back and watch us. It's a short one, Terry. It's only thirty minutes. Watch this one and check it out. So let's watch this. I'm going to roll the commercial here in a second, and be sure to ch- check out Broadstash.com. And I hope to see as many of you as possible tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, with guitarist Rob Balducci, and you're in for a great show. I promise you that. So we'll see you next time, which is tomorrow night, which is like 24 and a half hours, something like that. Uh, so yeah it's tomorrow night <laughs> all right we'll see you soon love you guys so much cheers hey you're still here eric jr here reminding you to check out our full lineup of quality merch available right now in the broadstash boutique quality products and fast shipping visit broadstash.com today i am now on patreon if you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what i do then please check out my patreon page at patreon.com slash EVH Gear TV. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric Hansen, Booking Guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones, and official Van Halen merchandise is provided by VanHalenStore.com.